Hey, what's up YouTube? In this problem we have an infinite series, and the question is, does the series converge or diverge? So the first thing you might notice that's kind of uncomfortable is the e to the negative n. So when I first see this problem, I'm thinking we need to fix that. That's too hard to think about. So one idea is to multiply by 1 in a very, very clever way. And this idea comes from integration, right? A lot of times when you have to integrate things like 1 over 1 plus e to the negative x, what you would do in a problem like this is you would multiply by e to the x over e to the x. And that would allow you to make a substitution. Same thing here, right? Except we're not going to make a substitution. We can eliminate that e to the negative n by multiplying by e to the n over e to the n, right? That's how pros do it, right? e to the n over e to the n. So we can write this as the infinite sum. As n runs from 1 to infinity, then 1 times e to the n is e to the n. So we have e to the n. On the bottom, we have 4 times e to the n, which is 4 e to the n. And then e to the negative n times e to the n is 1, right? e to the negative n times e to the n is 1 because they cancel, right? You can also add the exponents. Negative n plus n is 0, so you just get e to 0, which is 1. And now, and now we can use the most important or the most useful, or maybe not the most useful, the test that you typically use first, which is called the nth term test. The nth term test says if you take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, and it's not equal to zero, then the series diverges, right? If it's equal to zero, the test will fail. So in this case, this is our a sub n. So all we have to do is take this limit. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of e to the n over 4 e to the n plus 1. So e to the n and 4 e to the n plus 1 pretty much grow at the same rate, right? So they're both exponentials with base e. So in this case, the answer is going to be the ratio of the leading coefficients. So it's 1 over 4, 1 over 4. That's not equal to 0. Therefore, the series diverges by the nth term test, by the nth term test. That's it. Thanks for visiting my channel.